On the fourth generation Rams built between I think 2009 and 2017, there are several issues with water getting into the cab. We have water coming into our cab and it stained our headliner. Let me show you the two reasons that could be the problem for that happening. There's also another reason that water gets into the cab from the backside and that's uh, the vent in the back. I'm not going to show you that today because that's not what's happening with our Ram. Here's a picture of it right here. And if water comes in there, usually it'll fill up your little tool cubbies on the floor and your floor will be wet in the back. But for us, it's all pouring in down through the headliner in a hard rain. Let me show you the problems. Now it's going to be a little challenging seeing in here, but right up at the corner right here on my headliner, it is stained. And that's where the water pours in right here at the corner. Also over here on this corner, so both of them, depending on how the truck sits is which side it'll pour in. And that water will dribble down either into the headliner and come out the corner right there, or it will come out this port where the seat belt is and kind of run down the seat belt drip from this area right here. And then my eight year old, which rides in this seat, gets her shoulder all wet. So the most common problem is the third brake light here at the top of the cab. And that is because this gasket that's around it goes bad. So you can see this gasket, it should be two to three times that thickness. And over time, it has compacted down. You can see on the bottom here, it's actually still maybe half the thickness it should be, but on the top, it's completely smashed. So water is gonna get right in here. It's gonna sit on this plate. It's gonna drip both ways and run down to the corners and down to your headliner underneath. Also, if it makes it over this lip right here, then it'll get on your headliner right here and pool. It depends on how your truck is angled as to where the water is gonna go. So the other not commonly known issue is this weather stripping right here. And that seal between this roof panel and the side panel actually doesn't extend down far enough. There's a gap in here between where the window seal is and where the weather stripping stops. So this little gap here is causing us big issues because the water is running down the sides of this weather stripping during big rain events and getting right in there. So. This is an easy fix. The other fix is easy too, but this is easy to do with just a bit of silicone in this space. That will help to stop the water coming in right here. This one you need to order a new gasket for. And you can get that gasket at Amazon, I think it's 13 something, or you can get it at a company called Detroit Muscle. Uh, theirs is 10 bucks, but the shipping is pretty stout, I believe. Anyway. You can see right here where the gasket sealed on the bottom and the side, but on the top, it's totally dirty, which means stuff was just flowing right in here, right past that smash gasket. So all that water in there was running down my headliner from this point and from this point. So like I said, we're not gonna cover the vent issue at the bottom because that's not our issue. It's coming from the top for us. But if you just see water, in your toolbox or on your floor, your back floor, then it's probably those rear vents on the back right here. And there's some videos out there that show how to seal those up properly. So for my regular viewers who are mostly homesteaders and self-sufficient minded, we hope stuff like this helps you out because doing these types of things are necessary when you're on a homestead. You know that learning how to fix things by yourself is the key to self-sufficiency. And for those of you who are new to the channel, click this video right here, which will show you some of our car repair videos. Also, click these videos right here, which shows you some cool projects that you can do out on your homestead. Have a great day, we'll see you later, bye.